Hi guys, Henning and Morden here from Flip Normals. In this tutorial, we're going to do a basic shirt in Marvelous Designer. It's going to be pretty simple. We'll cover some super basic techniques, some maybe useful tips here and there. So let's get started. So first of all, we just want to use this free polygon tool. I'd really recommend when you're doing a shirt, find a pattern, just Google t-shirt pattern or shirt pattern whatever you're doing on Google, there's a lot of resources available now, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. And I usually just start out by just doing a simple one, just at the symmetrical line, just get the collar out, get the shoulder out, and then having something for, for the sleeve. And then this is a male shirt, so we'll, we'll form fit it here a little bit. Um, you can hold down shift to have, you know, to have it snap at different angles if you want to do that. So we just get it back up there. And that's gonna create the first part of our pattern. So we'll start off doing just one side and then we'll we'll just flip it over because it's just, just a little easier. If you go to this tool, the edit pattern tool, press Z, you can just manipulate individual points to sort of form fit it to, to your avatar. And if we go to the curves tool, we have two kinds of curve tools. There's one for editing and inserting curves. So we'll start by inserting a curve here for the sleeve. Usually when you do sleeves like this, you want to taper it more to, towards the bottom. Hit C to edit the curve tool. This is just this is just for the shirt to sort of wrap nicely around the arms. And we'll do something similar here for the neck so yeah he'll have like sort of sort of like a v-neck t-shirt on one thing you will be experimenting with is the the length from you know the sleeve length here because oftentimes you won't have enough space so you actually need to make this a little longer than than you think in the beginning so something like a kind of like a half teardrop shape like this is probably a good start. There we go. So let's say this is the this is the front start of our t-shirt. What you can do is hit the Z key, click your middle line here, right click and just say unfold. So this is gonna unfold it all over, just like duplicate it over and we have the other side of the t-shirt. You can, we have this a little bit of annoying point. You can get this in the in the center line if, if you don't make it perfect. You just right click on that and say convert to curve point. So then we get a bunch of curves, hit the V key. We can sort of adjust individual curves as well. There you go. So now we have a nice little curve in there. The next thing is we'll just duplicate this. So we'll just use the same piece for the front and the back for now and you can always edit the, the individual pieces afterwards. So if you just right click on it and say symmetric pattern with sewing, this allows us to just do one side of the sewing and it'll automatically just attach to any other pieces we attach to it. So move this part back and rotate it because we want the outside to be outside because otherwise it'll the sewing is gonna look pretty funky. Just move it kind of into place there we go. And we'll start sewing these together. One thing I find really useful is the, you have a sort of like a 3D pointer that shows up in your Garmin view as well. So you can see which side to sew onto the other side. So if we just come to this regular oh, sewing segment tool here, you can just press this side. This is where we place the little marker and you hit it to this side as well. And now that's gonna sew those two sides together and we'll do the same thing for this. Now I'm just gonna intentionally make a mistake here. So you can see visually, it's pretty easy to figure these things out when you just have simple simple patterns like this going together. But once you start getting into more advanced things like suits and more advanced costumes that have things that overlap, it can be quite hard to figure out which way to sew. So that's why I like using the, the little visual markers here in the viewport. But for sewing mistakes like this, if you just hit the B key for edit your sewing, you can select it, right click and say reverse sewing. Now this is gonna resolve perfectly. So hit the space key for simming and that's gonna sim it onto our avatar. So good start. 
And we'll do the same thing for the lower part of the body here. So press N, N is the segment sewing tool. Sew these two parts together and we'll do the same thing for this. Sew together, there we go. Now we have a kind of sexy form-fitted t-shirt. I just love watching the actual simulation <laughs> happen every time it's magic to me. <laughs> If we just select our pattern there, because we use the uh, symmetric um, uh, pattern with sewing, whatever I edit on one pattern is copied over to the other. That makes doing sort of edits here in the beginning really easy, because then we know that, that they'll definitely fit together. So this one, for example, I think maybe it's a little bit too tight. You can see it's having a hard time simming here. So we'll just use the arrow keys to just notch this out. Ah, let's do it once on either side. There we go. Now we have a little bit more fabric and we'll sim again. Every time you do an edit to any of your garments in here, it'll stop the sim. Just, otherwise it'll probably explode or something. So there we go. The next thing is sleeves. Now sleeves are a little bit tricky. Um, there are a couple different ways to do sleeves. Um, this goes by anything you do in Marvelous Designer is basically how you would do it in the real world as well if you're doing any sort of sewing. So if anyone has any experience with that, that's going to come in quite handy here. We, we have reference of this on our second monitor right yeah. now, because this kind of stuff is, it's not necessarily something you have an intuitive understanding of, particularly if you come from just a general CG background. Like I've never done sewing before. <laughs> so I just need to use as much reference as I possibly can. can and so should you, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty helpful. So how to sew this onto the sleeve onto the actual main part of the garment. Um, if you hit Shift and Z, you will get this um, display up that shows the lengths of each segment. So in this segment, for example, we have uh, 243, so that's 243 millimeters. So whenever we have something sewn together, you know, we have two parts. So in our case, both parts are the same length. So 243 times 243 would be 486. Thank you to Henning for the uh, off the side calculator. I'm pretty pretty good at that. <laughs> um, so we'll we'll want to make a garment for the for the sleeve that's the 486 millimeters roughly. So I'm I'm not a um, super big proponent of of doing everything perfect when it comes to garments. I like the little bit of imperfection to it. So sometimes I'll shift things off to the side. I'll make the lengths longer or smaller depending on the garment I'm making just to make it a little more imperfect because you can very quickly end up if you do millimeter for millimeter precision in Marvelous Designer it's just gonna look very 3d so for this kind of sleeve if we uh, grab our uh, curve tool here we just drag up a few points drag down drag down we could do this symmetrically as well um, but then I would have to unfold and that's totally a legit way of doing it. I'd probably do that if I wanted to be more precise, but this way it just allows me to have a little more, I guess, flexibility. So you can see we have 535 millimeters, which is a little too long for what we need. So if we grab our curve edit tool with C, we can just sort of try to nudge that into place. Maybe make this a little less extreme. So we have 499. The easiest way to do this, I like the curve of this. This is probably a nice curve. So what we can do is we can make these segments longer. So if we just select, you can hold down shift. So if you select one point and another point, you can just move that down. So now we have 252, 252. That's close enough to 504, 499. So just a reminder, uh, A, is for you, know, you have this edit tool and then Z again is just for editing individual points. So now we have our sleeve here. It should have appeared somewhere here. And manipulation in the viewport is just standard. We have a, I'm assuming you're not, this is not your first Marvelous Designer tutorial, but if it is, we actually made a free introduction on the channel earlier. So you'd be welcome to check that out. We'll have a link to that in the description as well. So we'll have that pattern there. And yeah, before we do anything, let's just sew this on just to see what it looks like before we make another one. So you can manipulate it sort of into place. There you go. go. Now, one of my absolute favorite tools, and for some reason I, I seem to forget the hotkey 
for this every single time I close Marvelous Designer. But you can, if I were to sim this now, this would just sort of fall off and it'd be kind of hard to deal with. Actually, we're pretty lucky this time. It's not too bad. But let's pretend it was really bad. Uh, you can right click here and say reset 3D arrangement. So it'll put it back to normal again. If we had some more advanced clothing, what I've done before is hold down the W key and press on your garment. You create these small pins. So these are pins that'll just put it into place once you sim it. So we can remove all of those by holding down control W and that'll sort of put it back into place. So let's get back to that reset. I'll just put one marker or one pin up here to let it fold down. Stop the sim, control W to remove the, the pins again. So this is something you could use if your if your fabric was falling into space for some <laughs> reason. If you have a crazy character with crazy fabrics, this will just save you a lot of effort or a lot of time there. There you go, now we've sewn that together. So what you can do is you can you can do this both while you're simming and while you're not simming. And you can sort of move it up. So I want it to be up there, and once you start simming again, it'll pull it back into space. Pew. You can also manipulate it while it's simming, which is which is quite nice, I think. So now the tricky part, we gotta sew this onto the actual main garment, but it's a little too long. So hit the Z key, edit your points, and then sometimes you can use your cursor or whatever, or just the, the arrow keys. The arrow keys are pretty easy to nudge things up with. So that's probably a good length for the t-shirt. Sim it again. Now we need to sew this together. Now this is where the marker from before comes in handy. So maybe it's just me, but I'm not very spatially aware when it comes to 3D garments like this. So I like to click on all the things to see. So I can see, okay, that's actually that part over there. So it's, just, it's sort of figuring out the general direction of how I need to sew it. Otherwise we'll end up with that jumbled mesh we, we saw before jumble mess with with the top of, of, of the t-shirt so I can see that this would go like this from the bottom to the top and then it would hit the next piece of the garment from the top to the bottom right and I would find the same point on this part so you know if you zoom in we can see it would start from here so Marvel has actually made a super cool tool so instead of just the segment sewing tool, which just takes an entire segment and merges it or sews it to another segment, there's the free sewing tool. So the free sewing tool, you can decide the length of your, your, your stitch, but it can be a little bit annoying trying to figure out the math, like how much do I sew to this part and to the other part. So if you hold down on the tool and you go to M&M &M free sewing, it'll actually do the math for you. So in cases where you don't have the exact same length, like we do here, It'll sort of average the stitching out across the entire border, so you'll end up with a nice a nice stitch. So let's take a look. That was the inside there to there, again to the inside, top to bottom. So we'll hit our M&M &M free sewing tool and snap it to the bottom, go all the way to the top, click, and then we'll click on the top here and down to the bottom. And then you want to hit enter. So now you've frozen this one part. So now Marvelous knows, okay, my first initial length is whatever, 504 uh, millimeters or so. And then you want to show, sew it onto this part. So then you select the other part that we identified, which was here. And we just sew it all the way. And now you can see, if we hit enter again, it has sewn all of this just across. So control W just to clear our little pin space the sim and there we have it now we have a nice little sleeve on one side of the garment so we can do that again if we just you can just straight up control c control v copy them over now this is going to be a sim part again so you can just take your garment here and control c control v to copy it over like that select it Let's see if we select it in the viewport popped up over there. <laughs> so just send that send that back and we can pull this in. Sometimes you'll find that if you're selecting a garment in the viewport, this gizmo won't always show up. So sometimes you just have to double click your mesh. It's kind of weird like that. 
So we'll just put that into place and then we'll do it again just for the sake of practice here. So this one is already kind of kind of form fitted to the other sleeve. So we'll just let it down and then we'll identify those points again. So I did from the bottom on the outside now to the top and then from the top on the outside and other part to the bottom. And let's see the direction here would be this inside part. So we'll just do the m and free sewing tool. Just it's always good to check. I can see the icon changes, but sometimes it actually resets the tool. So just make sure you have the one with the two lines here. So we go up like that, down, press enter, and then we'll do same thing here. Press enter again. Sim it on. And now we have a perfectly non form fitted shirt. <laughs> what you can do is you can see you can try and identify which parts do you think that don't work right now. Obviously, his sleeves are way too wide, right? So we want to decrease the length of the fabric here. So if you select around here, you can see, okay, which which part of this is too long? Ah, Okay, it would be these two segments. They're too far apart. So if I bring those closer together, we would have less fabric here. So press the C key, select one of these, one, two, three. We do one, two, three. And we have to do that on the other side as well for now, but let's just test it here. So you can see that would bring that in closer and we would have less fabric to, to deal with. So I really think this marker tool or this little point tool is really great for identifying where do you have length issues and where do you sew things together. Can you remind them what was the hotkey for that again? For the, for the marker? Oh, that's just clicking it. Okay. Um, if you press A if for your have this garment manipulation tool in 2D garment view. If you just press A, you'll have it here as well. I think it's just standard actually in the viewport. So cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thank you.